Hello, sophomore and senior parents. Mr. Hogger here, your student's world history or econ gov teacher. And I'm just writing this message to be an end of the year thank you, not just to students, but to you, the parents. What a year it's been. Unprecedented is something I feel like history teachers probably often use, but this time it really applies, right? We've been through a lot together. And though many of us never met in person, I just wanted to thank you. Thank you for supporting our students during this time. Thank you for being flexible with school and patient with me and kindness. I didn't get a single uh, email of, of real concern all year because I felt like we had a great relationship and rapport of both wanting to work together for the benefits of our students. And I put it as one of the priorities in my life to try to make my hour of class as normal as possible. And I want to say in many ways, it was the greatest year of teaching I've had with all the challenges and setbacks and adversity that we managed. And that's because the students joined me in this journey and this venture. Every day they came to class with what I asked for on day one, which was a willingness to enjoy our time together, to study history in the modern and in the ancient, and to try to make connections and think through more than two different sides because perspectives matter a lot to the world we have today. To my students, I wanted to say thank you for your perseverance. You dealt with things that no student have ever had to deal with before in different ways than ever. And you committed and you dedicated yourself and we had a year of success. We were together learning about everything that was going on and all the standards we were covering and current events. And I think we did a really productive job of creating teams and families in each of the six periods that I taught. There are a few things that I hope are gonna stick with you this summer and that you will remember from otherwise maybe a year you'd wanna forget a lot of. And so here's a couple of things. Being persistent through challenges has helped me tremendously. Uh, although it doesn't look like I can persist with heat because I'm wearing a t-shirt in 100 degree weather. But besides that, there are many times in which I was told that you know I wouldn't accomplish things or wouldn't reach the goals I want, whether it was voiceovers in NBA 2K21 or achieving success with music and being able to tour with artists and bands, it's something I hope to dedicate to over summer. I've always let the voice inside me drive my future. So that's one of the things I want you to keep with you as you go out, whether you're graduating or headed to your junior year, and that you define your success and your own self. If you decide you're not good at something, you've already closed that door and there'll be one less door open. Decide to keep as many doors open as you want and proceed through the ones who you feel are gonna bring you success and uh, opportunities in life. So that's a big thing. The, my second note, uh, creating opportunities. This year it gave you a lot of time that was outside of a classroom. I hope you found hobbies and joy from, if not people, maybe weren't, couldn't be with all the people you wanted to be, but creating time, learning lessons, learning skills, gaining trades, uh, you know, learning from YouTube on how to do different hobbies and maybe even learning an instrument. Things that can be a source of your own joy that you can create with any time you're given. If you do that now, it'll pay huge dividends through your life and it could be something you keep on the side as a hobby and something very valuable to you as you go on. And the last thing is something that I've just learned over the past decade and that's something I've talked about in class, knowing your worth. So your time is valuable. Your presence is valuable. As Mr. Colley said, you have value just because you exist. And so find things that, that bring value to your life, that add to your life. You know, video games can be fun, but is it building yourself a better future or a career opportunity or giving you a skill that can, you can train and become better at and become a master? At in the future. So know your value. Don't be turned away. Don't turn yourself away from opportunities and seek out whatever classes and people lift you up and not hold you back. And that's just a recap on some of the things that hopefully we'll view better uh, through YouTube. And maybe even when internet connections were weak, I felt like our class bonds and connections were strong. Thank you so much. Over summer, I'll be pursuing my music and be writing new music. And you can check out the music I've done on Spotify, Pandora, and YouTube. And I'll be uh, just keeping busy with the family and having a great time. And to the families out there who've gone through an absolute ton, thank you for your support through this year. It meant a lot to know whenever I got a message from a parent, it was like a productive team situation. And that means a lot to me here at Heritage. It's been a home now for four years, and I just appreciate you. As the seniors go out into the world, I appreciate what four years has meant to me here as well. Thank you so much. And uh, if you have siblings, I hope to see them next year. If you have sophomores turning to juniors, I'd love to have some TAs in the future. Uh, to Mrs. Wells for her support. And to all of you, I hope you have a wonderful, joyous summer. And I hope that it will become a source of uh, great togetherness, restoration, and recharge for everybody out there. Uh, Mr. Hogger, this has been quite a year. Goodbye, everybody. Have a wonderful summer. And thanks for all the love. Be good to each other. And we'll see you next time. Until then, class is dismissed. Have a great day, everybody.